Hey guys, and welcome back to Studio One with me, Gregor. One of the single best things, in my opinion, you can do to navigate Studio One better and lower the amount of frustration you have in the software is to learn to better navigate your plugin chains. Because whether you're creating video content or whether you do music production in Studio One, at some point you're going to deal with effect chains and effect plugins and learning how to use these better and navigate through them better can be incredibly beneficial to your workflow. So hopefully you're gonna find this video helpful. So this video is mostly inspired by a few workshops that I've been to recently where absolute power users of Studio One showcase their productions, some mind-blowing stuff there. And yet at a very fundamental level, I was kind of wondering how they navigate their plugin chains and whether that couldn't be done more effectively. This one, for example, starts with Empire, goes into Pro EQ, into Chorus, Compressor and Analog Delay. And I saw them go through the plugin chain like this. Double click on Empire, double click on Pro EQ, double click on Chorus, etc. It's so much easier to just use the tab selector here to go through your plugins, right? Just like you would in your internet browser. You can think of these plugin effects really as tabs, and by the same token, you can also reorder them by dragging and dropping. So instead of having to open up the console, the mixer console all the time, and do your reordering of plugins this way, you could just do it like this, right? If you want to have the compressor before the EQ for some reason, you just do this. And this just seems so much more effective to me than yeah, always having to find the channel here in the mixer console, because what if the mixer isn't open? What if the mixer view shifted away from the channel that you're currently working on? I mean, you have your plugins right here. Why would you first open up the mixer console, find that channel and reorder from there when you can just use the tab over here? Now, the second advice that I want to give you today to better navigate your plugin chains has to do with page upskip and downskip. That is a keyword shortcut that some Studio One users know from my hidden gems in Studio One video. I'm also going to link that in the top corner here. But if you're not aware, then definitely get familiar with it because you find this super powerful keyboard shortcut right here. Go to Studio One, keyboard shortcuts and search page up skip and down skip or just search page. It's gonna come right up. You can assign these to any keyboard shortcut that you like, even to multiple by simply deselecting the first one and then entering another key and then hitting assign like so. And this is kind of useful if you wanna have these commands also on your mouse. I have these on a side button on my mouse because I use them so often. And what you can do with these is simply go up and down your plugin chain like this. So Whenever you navigate to a channel, you can go through the entire plugin chain like this and you don't even have to resort to the mixer console and double click these plugin inserts here every time to open them up. So whether it's reopening or accessing your plugin chains, it's often these little things that can make your workflow so much more smooth and faster as Studio One. And hopefully this is gonna help you out. Thank you for watching.